Who is she? Is she Lady Loki? Is she the Enchantress? A little bit of both? Maybe? Maybe not? We really have no idea, and we're probably not going to know until they straight up tell us in Loki. So we're going to have to just keep watching the next couple episodes to find out the true identity of this character. But this character's identity was, of course, the big reveal at the end of Loki Episode 2, that this evil Loki variant that the TVA is chasing is a female version of Loki. And I'm pretty sure all of us saw that coming. And with it being a female version of Loki, most of us, including myself, assumed... Well, it, it's Lady Loki. I mean, it's right there in the name. Lady Loki, female, female Loki. It, it just makes sense. But is she Lady Loki or is she the Enchantress or something completely else? Again, it, her whole identity here is just super confusing. But now there are a few more clues that we can put together to try and solve this mystery of who this character is. Because in the credits for Loki Episode 2, Sophia DiMartino, who plays this character, was credited as the character Sylvie Laufey Daughter. And then also another piece of merchandise actually listed the character as Loki and Sylvie. It was actually also a pretty cool piece of merchandise. It was like a set of horns. Of It was like Loki's crown slash horns and then Sylvie's horns. And again, it was specifically listed as Loki and Sylvie. So we know for sure now that her name is Sylvie Laufey Daughter. So how does this help us? Well, first of all, Laufey Daughter, her last name. Let's explain this. So... Loki is Loki Laufey's son, or Laufey Sin. So, Laufey's son is because Loki is the son of Laufey, the king of the Frost Giants. So, since Sylvie is an alternate version of Loki, she is still a child of Laufey, but instead of Laufey's son, since she's a female, she is the Laufey daughter. So, that's where that comes into play. So, again, heavily emphasizing that this is an alternate version of Loki, but is it Lady Loki? Let's continue. Because Sylvie, this this ca character's name really blew up the internet the last couple days with Sylvie. Because you may not think it's anything important, but Sylvie is a very important factor when it comes to this mystery. Because again, the two top suspects of who this character could be are Lady Loki and the Enchantress. And when it comes to the name Sylvie in the comics... The Enchantress's name is Sylvie, or at least the second version. The original Enchantress, her name is Amora, and she's an Asgardian and everything. But then there's the character of Sylvie, who in the comics was actually just a regular old human being, and she had no ties to Asgardians at all. But then this is where Loki comes in, because at one point, Loki was just playing around, and he was just having some fun, and he gave her these magical powers, and then she went to New York and took on the mantle of Enchantress. So... She, this character and this version of Enchantress already has huge ties to Loki in the comics. But in the comics, she is not an alternate version of Loki. Again, she is just a random human being named Sylvie Lushton. So this is where things start getting even more confusing because like, is it Enchantress or is it Lady Loki? With the name Sylvie, it makes it seem like she is the Enchantress. But then, again, you bring in all the factors of it being Lady Loki, an alternate version of Loki with the Laufey daughter name, and then also her horns. Uh, something interesting to note is that we, when we saw her in Loki Episode 2, her horns, one of them was, like, snapped off. So there was only one full horn, and then the other one was, like, just a little nub of a horn there. And that is something that Lady Loki had in the comics at one point, where she had a small crown horns, whatever you want to call it, where one of the horns was snapped off. So this makes me think that she is both Lady Loki and Enchantress at the same time, but also neither of them because she is not Lady Loki and she is not the Enchantress. She is something completely new. This is Sylvie Laufey Daughter, a new combination of the two characters, which Honestly, I think makes a lot of sense because if you think about it, they are kind of similar characters in the comics, at least when it comes to power sets and stuff like that. And I think this is a great approach to doing it because it is the second version of Enchantress in the comics. So then this does leave the door open for if they want to introduce the real Enchantress or at least the original Enchantress with Amora, they can do that later on down the line with like a Thor 5 or whatever happens with that 
because I think that'd be pretty cool because I, I really like the character of Enchantress. I grew up watching her in a bunch of cartoons, mainly Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. So I'd love to see that. And this is a great way to compromise that where you still have this character that is Lady Loki, but also enchantress at the same time and i saw actually a lot of people that were really upset thinking that this was just lady loki like oh this is not lady loki she doesn't even look like loki because she doesn't have dark hair and all that stuff so then this is where it brings us to that again it's not lady loki it's a combination of lady loki and enchantress it's something completely new or a new, completely different being that we're dealing with here so maybe we will actually get the true Lady Loki later on down the line with the actual comics accurate version, not only with darker hair, but also in the comics, if you don't know, when it comes to Lady Loki, it was actually Loki being reincarnated in a female body, but he actually took on the appearance of Lady Sif, who, by the way, we know Jamie Alexander is returning to that role in Thor Love and Thunder, and Tom Hiddleston has said that he's not going to be in that movie, so maybe we will see Loki in Thor Love and Thunder, but it won't be Tom Hiddleston. Maybe it will be Jamie Alexander as Lady Loki. I think that'd be pretty cool. Honestly, that would be awesome. Uh, but again, it's all just hypothetical. It's all just theories at this point. We're just trying to piece the clues, piece these puzzle pieces all together to try and solve this mystery of who is Sylvie Laufey daughter. And again, I think she is neither Lady Loki or Enchantress, but also both at the same time. A completely new character, and I'm really interested to see what they do with this villain in this series. And even if she is going to be a villain, she might even end up becoming an ally to this Loki variant. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Who do you think this character is? Is she Loki, Lady Loki? Is she Enchantress? Or is she something completely different? So guys, of course, stay tuned for my episode review and breakdown for Loki episode 3. And thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.